In this tutorial, we're going to take a look how to connect MailChimp with WordPress. So the first thing that you need to do is just sign into your MailChimp account and then just go here and then just select profile. After you do that, click here and select EPI case. And then just scroll down and click create a K. Here, just add a name and then just click here. After you do that, just click copy and click done. And then just sign into your WordPress and then just go to plugins and click add new plugin. Then just search for MailChimp WordPress. As you can see here, and then just install this one. Click install now and click activate. Then select the plugin and click MailChimp. Here, just add your API and then click save changes. As you can see now, we have connected the MailChimp. So we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna go form. Then add a name to your form and then click add new form. So as you can see here, you can simply just select everything and just remove everything from here. And we're gonna start building our form from scratch. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna add the email address. So just click email address as you can see here. And then we can just um, double, we can just select this. So simply in the placeholder, just gonna add email address and it's the same, it's the same thing with the initial value. After that, just the, uh, select those two options as you can see here and just click add to form. So now, as you can see here, we have added the email address. Also, maybe you want to add the first name in the last name. So just gonna click first name and again, just gonna copy this in the placeholder and also in the initial value and gonna make this as uh, required. So again, add to form and we have added the first name. We're gonna do also the last name, same thing. We're gonna just copy this in the, just paste in the placeholder and also here in add to form. So we have added the email address, we have added the first name and we have added the last name. You can also add, as you can see here, uh, other options if you want, like the phone and the country, etc., etc. And also what we need to add is, we need to add the submit button. So we're just gonna uh, click here and then just gonna add to form. And now we have the form. So we're just gonna click save um, changes and then just copy this short code. We're gonna go to the page where you want to add the short code or we, where you want to add the, the, the form and then just gonna click edit with Elementor. And as you can see here, we have just this simple uh, blog. So we're gonna go on this plus button and then I'm gonna do short code. And then just drag this one and select where you want to add the, 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 the form. So we're gonna just add it somewhere here and then just gonna paste the short code. Now we have added the form as you can see here. So now if someone uh, added his email address in the first name in the last name and click subscribe, we are going to collect this info. So maybe we're gonna remove this from here and we're gonna go in the, just gonna go here and we're gonna add the short code just gonna add the short code here and just add some text for example I'm just gonna go here and we can do something like that we're gonna, we're gonna add some text so we can do just something like that and also we can select the text and make it for example just heading 4 and also we can add some space between the 
blog and also the newsletter we can do something like just we're gonna drag this if you're gonna make it just like that as you can see here so now as I said if someone add his email address in the first name in the last name click subscribe we are going to collect all of this info that's it for more tutorials smash like button and subscribe